Today I'm going to make a pick box out of some of the scraps left over from a guitar I'm making. I had a fretboard that came in damaged and I'm using that uh, for the top. Welcome to another episode of All Things Woodworking. I'm your host, Aaron. I've provided additional information in the description. Please leave a comment on what videos you'd like to see next. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy what you see. I started this project by resawing the zebra wood to size. Then I planed it down to a quarter inch thick. This will end up being the sides of the box. Then I did the same process with a piece of ash so I would have it for the bottom and also for the underneath portion of the lid. Then I used the miter to cut 45 degree corners. You want to clamp this for two reasons. First, to keep your fingers away from the blade. Secondly, so the wood stays perfectly still to get the best miter cut that you can on the wood. I did a dry fit just to make sure everything was coming together and was going to look good. I used painter's tape for small boxes to hold it together while the glue is drying. I used D glue glue to remove any unwanted squeeze out on the inside of the box. I put it on and you wait 10 to 30 minutes while it dissolves the glue before you remove it. At this point I'm sizing up the top where I want the frets to be positioned. Now I'm coming back and removing the glue that was softened with the de-glue goo. Here I'm measuring the inside of the box so I can cut a piece of ash to fit underneath the fretboard uh, to help hold the lid on. I'm putting some tape on the top of the fretboard, preparing for the inlay.
I use CA glue to temporarily adhere the mother of pearl to the tape. This will allow me to make marks around the inlay. Once you're done marking, you want to carefully separate the tape from the wood to remove the star. By rubbing chalk into the cuts, it's easier to see while you're cutting using the router. I use my Dremel and a router jig to cut out the inlay. You want the inlay to sit just proud of the wood. Later I'll sand that off. The key to a tight fitting inlay is patience, removing little bits at a time and checking it for fit. I used a two-part epoxy that is tenable. After mixing it well, I added some tint. This epoxy has a 30-minute handling time, sets in about 30 minutes, and cures in 8 to 12 hours.
I put wax paper between my call and the inlays to keep from gluing the call to the project. I used a wipe on poly finish on the box. I used two coats, sanding lightly between coats. For the top I applied a fretboard oil, letting it soak in. Thank you for joining us on this episode of All Things Woodworking. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed what you've seen.